Hi amazing people, I am Ayushi Rawat and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll see how you can create your own digital clock with Python. Before moving forward, have you subscribed to my channel yet? Subscribe it so that you never miss an update. Let's get started. It's time to code. You can find all the code at my GitHub repository. So let's start by creating a Python file. I am naming it as clock. You can name it anything you want. We'll start by importing the necessary packages. We will use tkinter to do this. So from tkinter import star and from tkinter.ttk import star. Now that we have imported tkinter, now let's import time. From time import strf time. Next, we need to create UI for digital clock. So root equals to tk. Now we need to set the title of our clock. We will use the title method to do the same. Root.title and we'll name it as digital clock. Now let's define a method to get the time. I'll name it as clock. We will use the strf time method to get this time. Let's store it in tick. Tick is a string and now let's provide the time format. So I'll use percent %h, percent %m and percent %s. Now let's use p for am and pm. Now we can set the label using the config method. So I'll use label.config and I'll set the text as tick here. Now we can call our function and use the after method to do the same. Label.after because we need to run it every second. So let's give it 1000 here and let's pass in clock. Once done with the title, we'll require a label. The label will be used to store our title. So let's create a label. We'll create the label using the label method. Now let's design it. We can set the background, foreground, color and font. Now let's give the font. I'm giving the background as black and the foreground as red here. Now that we have designed our label, we are ready to pack it. We will do the same using the pack method. So label.pack. You can also define the alignment of the labels and we will use anchor method for this. So anchor equals to center. Moving forward, now let's call our clock function. At the end, let's call main loop. That's it. We are done. Let's save it and now let's run the code. Use python and your file name.py to run the command. Save the file and now let's run our code. Use python and your file name. And here's our digital clock. I hope you like this video. You can check out my blog for a step-by-step -step guide. The link will be available in my description box. You can find the code at my GitHub repository. Join my Telegram channel and Discord server to get regular updates. 
connect with me on other social platforms link is available in the description box below i will strongly recommend you to check out my other youtube tutorial videos how to build your own google chrome extension web scraping coronavirus data into ms excel how to create your own image capture with python and how to create your own audiobook from any pdf with python link is available in the description box below if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe my channel thank you for watching